Hi, I am Matthew Clark. I am 11 years old and I stay in Methyl Face, Scotland. I am in France for the Intercept Tech Festival. Now, I like boats and now we are going to see the Talasa. Now, follow me. Hi, I'm Matthew. Hello, Matthew. How are you? Fine, and you? You? Aye, good, good. Okay. Is it possible to visit the boat? Yeah, of course, come on, go. Okay, so. This boat was an oceanographic vessel and um, he, he was sailing during uh, 36 years between uh, the 60s and the, uh, 96 and uh, he travelled a lot around the world to make researches but researches about fishing and about fishes okay uh, so when you look at it uh, it's really like uh, it's building like a fishing vessel uh, but on board you get scientists and sailors, not just sailors, and fi um, no fishermen, but scientists and sailors, and that's it. Okay. Okay, so here we are in the captain's cabin, so you can see his bed there. This is a map table because uh, part of the job of the captain was to draw some cards of marine uh, maps. Here you have his little office. On there you can see uh, a little living room uh, which was there to, uh, to receive some, uh, some famous people, famous political people, when that uh, Thalassa was uh, aboard. And uh, here you can put the glasses and the bottles, and you have also a secret bar to put the bottles which are there for the captain. Okay, so now we can go to the gangway. So here, Matthew, we are in the wheelhouse. So it's a place where, where the captain uh, had to pilot the boat. Uh, so here you have the steering wheel. And you have a lot of different uh, navigation instruments. Mm -hmm. And you have two radars, which are very important, because it's allowed to uh, see the other boats or the harbor world. Uh, so it's very, very useful when you are sailing during night or when you have some fog like today. What was the mission exactly of the boat? The mission of the boat was to uh, do researches to uh, know better the resources of fish. Uh, because when we were in the 70s, we knew that the fishing, uh, we, we can practice fishing without knowing the resources, without knowing the biology of fish because we needed to protect them to know how to fish better and to fish longer. Oh. Is there other room to visit? Yeah, there is plenty of room to visit. So here you have a uh, fishing net, which is called a trawler. Uh, this net is, you, you can see, it's here at the bottom of the sea. And you see the attach uh, to, the boat, to the boat there, you know. From here it's on the, the uh, side of the boat. And La Talassa was a revolutionary boat.
from here because the Tanasa was sailing in the north, in the polar places. Uh, sometimes uh, the honker there, it was uh, just uh, traps in the ice. So we put there some hot water to, to be allowed to, uh, to use it. On board, you, you had uh, 50 persons who were living and sleeping. So I will show you the kitchen, okay? Do you get some tea? Maybe. <laughs> you needed the captain's authorization because there were oil and you know with, uh, with the movement of the boat uh, it, it could have been dangerous to make French fries so you need the authorization. Do you drink wine or? Yeah but never drink the job. Sure. So I, um, here you can you can taste that you have specific stuff to block everything. Uh, still for the same reason, because of the waves and uh, you, when you are hitting on the boat you are like that so you need to block and this stuff. How long did it take to do the missions? Uh, the mission, it was different for the scientists and for the sailors. For scientists uh, it was during one month and for the sailors it was until three months. Mm. So the Talasa was a little bit like a second house for them. Okay. Do you want to have a look on the at the engine room? Hi. Yeah? Okay, let's go. This is uh, the dinosaurs who inspired uh, who was used for the uh, Loch Ness Monster legend, Nessie. So this is the uh, daddy of Nessie. Okay, so I'm sure you know it. <laughs> All these species, species were living in the um, ocean of the past and this is their real size. So if you were just swimming in those seas who have met such space. Okay. Now this one is a young one. It's a baby. This one. So normally if we had the wild size, it should have begun there and ending there just uh, all over, over the corridor. <laughs> God. And just push the button here. Yeah sure. So this is the scientist cabin. You can see the difference with one of the captain or of the uh, mechanician. And there were four to share a cabin like that during one month. Is this the visit finished? Yeah, it's finished. How many rooms? More than 10 rooms in, the, in this board. Okay, did you enjoy the visit? Yeah. Have you got other questions? Mm, how long is the boat? The boat is uh, 67 meters long. When, when was it the boat went out to sea? Uh, it was in uh, 1996. Okay. So it's here for uh, 12 years now. It's a museum now. So would that never, like, would this be able ever to start up again? No, no, no. You, you can see outside the part of this uh, 
engine, and uh, so now it's uh, finished. It's a museum to uh, to tell the stories of his its life, finally. Okay. So thank you for showing me the boat and I'll be sure to try and send pictures of Scotland. Okay, thanks a lot to you Matthew. Bye bye. Ciao. Right. Nice boat, nice girl. Maybe you can come to the next festival.